Japan is extending its COVID-19 state of emergency from next week as infections surge. Three prefectures around Tokyo, Saitama, Kanagawa and Chiba will fall under new tougher restrictions. At the same time, existing decrees for the capital and Okinawa will continue until the end of next month. Nearly 65% of hospital beds in Tokyo have already been filled up. The city alone accounts for nearly a third of the 10,000 plus new infections recorded nationwide. Authorities say the current rise in infections has yet to peak. Michio Ishida explains why the new measures may not be enough to contain the spread. Japan is alarmed with nationwide COVID-19 daily cases exceeding 10,000 for the first time since the pandemic began. In Tokyo, medical experts say new infections are growing at a pace never seen before. A large percentage is dominated by the Delta variant. Hospital beds are filling up with many of those in their 40s to 50s who have not been vaccinated. The situation in neighboring prefectures is deteriorating rapidly too. The government is calling for people to stay home and enjoy the Olympic Games on TV. But the reality is there are many people going out. The approval ratings of the cabinet of Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga based on media polls continue to fall. The main complaint from the public is its lack of leadership amid the worsening COVID-19 situation in Japan. The decision the public does support banning spectators at the Olympic Games in this pandemic. In any case, a declaration of a state of emergency may not be strong enough to keep people home, meaning there's nothing to suggest infections will fall. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.